Welcome back to New York Links. A poignant movie opened last week, dealing with the horror and tragedy many faced in New Orleans. I covered the story. Take a look. As I prepared to go to the screening of Trouble the Water, shown by Image Nation at the Faison Firehouse Theater in Harlem, co-founded by Tony Award winner George Faison in 1997, I have already made up in my mind that for the night I will probably cry, fight back tears, have feelings of disgust, rage, disappointment, hurt, shock, and at the same time not be surprised by some of the things I will see and hear. No. Trouble the Water is a documentary about Kim and Scott Roberts filming their experience and being filmed during Hurricane Katrina. They show the power of the human spirit to survive no matter the obstacles and hardships they face and the people they touch in the process, including the viewers watching. With us, Lord, please. All this water coming through the windows. Hey, help us get off the roof, man. As I watch the film and take in the different levels of energy from the audience throughout the ups and downs of the film, I feel scared at times watching the scenes when Hurricane Katrina hit, and encouraged and made to feel comfortable even through the harshest moments of the film with Kim and Scott leading the way. There is a scene in the documentary where Kim starts rhyming called Amazing that really moves the crowd in the theater. And by the time Kim is done, everyone is clapping and cheering. I can't explain to you the triumphant feeling that is felt at that moment by everyone. After the film, there was a Q&A session with the panel consisting of Kim and Scott Roberts with their new addition to the family, Sky Roberts, executive producer Danny Glover, producers Tia Lesson and Carl Deal that allowed the audience to get up close and personal and ask the questions that were going through their minds as they watched the documentary. <laughs> Um, this is an independent film. It's a, it's a small film. We didn't have a big Hollywood budget. We didn't get a big Hollywood distributor. Um, it's been a battle to, to get to where we are right now, to even be right here in this theater tonight, our opening night. Thank you all for coming out, supporting it. And you talked about your spiritual transformation, which I think is just a big, important story as what is at face value. Even you wearing the cross on your chest, I notice the progression. So with the religion thing, uh, I, uh, I always believed in God. No one in my house never went to church. For some reason, I was five years old, fixing my curl, going to put my dress on, going to Sunday school. You know, so it's something that God always did. He always drew me to him. You know, I always try to get people in my house, so I get my little brother to go to church, but no one ever like went, but I always had a love uh, for God myself. And uh, something that he put in me, he kind of drew me always to him. And um, you know, as I got older and kind of understood religion, it became a personal thing. Some things also brought up was the lack of emergency preparedness if a disaster like this occurred again, programs to help the children affected by this devastation, and what is being done to rebuild the Lower Ninth Ward in New Orleans. The love that you brought together in this project, and it's about basic humanity, thank all of you. How are the children? We know that when an episode like this, it creates trauma. It creates this sense of desperation, of hopelessness. And if there's no intervention, that goes on for another generation into another generation into another generation, which is called historical trauma. How are the children? What type of interventions are being done to help the young people understand what happened and still have a vision for themselves? That's an important, that's part of the mission of this film. You know, we want to make sure that organizations that are on the ground, on the Gulf Coast, and everywhere on this in this country can use this film as a vehicle for their work and to uplift their work, whether it's whether it's education, advocacy, organizing. Um, we have seen for ourselves, we've been in Los Angeles, we've been in Utah, we've been in Washington, D.C., we've been in New York City. And so I thought that was so compelling and it made me really pay attention. It's gonna make a lot of people pay attention. We also sat down with Danny Glover after the film. How are you doing tonight, right, Mr. Glover? Good, good, very good, thank you. Tell us about your involvement 
in this event tonight? Well, I, I had the opportunity to get involved with some extraordinary filmmakers and two extraordinary in, individuals, and, and Scott and, and Kimberly Rivers. Uh, and they, uh, they, they're the ones that make this what it is. They're the ones that have, have really shaped this story. And they had an opportunity just to be a part of it and to get, make sure people get out and see this film. For more information, please log on to www.imagination.us or call the numbers on your screen. Thank you. Mm -hmm.